Hello there. Let's have an analysis for this particular circuit. And in this circuit, let's try to see if there is any kind of feedback and if it is, how it works. So I have this positive power supply and then I'm using the circuit like this where I use one BJT, which is an NPN transistor. And then I am using two register, one at the collector pin called as RC, one at the emitter pin called as RE. And this is my ground terminal. And to the base pin of the transistor, I am applying the base voltage VB to bias the transistor. And I want this circuit to be used as a linear amplifier small signal amplifier and what I want is once I bias the transistor with proper base uh, voltage collector voltage and the emitter voltage so that there are two diodes of this uh, transistor where this diode becomes forward bias or this is the junction and this diode becomes uh, reverse bias, right? So you have like uh, this this kind of, this is let's say VBC. Okay. And this is an NPN transistor as I said before. Now I want to maintain this uh, stability of this uh, circuit so that uh, even if there is a change in the voltages at the base, for example, the bias point will affect. And what is the bias point? Essentially, it is uh, understood by drawing the IV characteristics of this amplifier. First, initially, there is the input characteristics from base current and the base emitter voltage, that is the forward junction drop for a given value of collector to emitter drop, that is VCE here. So what I see, I have increment of the exponential increment. So let me draw it again. This curve would be like this. So initially I increase the VBE and there is a very little amount of current. But as soon as I cross about 0 0.7 volt for a silicon diode, for example, I have an exponential rise of uh, the current through this PN junction diode. And my I would say the base emitter junction is forward biased and the relationship of that uh, current and voltage would be about, about something like this, this uh, base current or the current through the forward function junction diode would be something like that, e to the power, uh, it, uh, n times Vd by Vt minus 1. Okay, so let me just uh, verify and cross check that. A big change here, it is uh, eta into Vd and there is no factor n here. So that's it. So we see that this is the current and the voltage relationship between the diode. And output characteristics of this uh, circuit or the BJT would be something like this. You have the collector current and then you have uh, the collector to emitter voltage. And uh, you have for a given value of VBE, you have the current voltage relationships like this. And then we say the region right here is your saturation region and the region here is your linear or active region where you bias those. So for example, I this is a constant current all the way and somewhere here I choose to uh, bias the transistor which is called as Q point or bias point we are talking about and this is a fixed once you apply the voltages. And for this value of a bias point, you have the values of IC here and the value of VCE, right? So that's how you let the current flow, that is IC here, 
and then you have received and you have ensured now that the transistor remains in the linear or active mode that's what you want for it to be used as a linear amplifier now let's say due to temperature variations or some other disturbance noise your operating point shifts uh, it is here but now it can go at this point or at this point so it means your current is also a little bit to varying because uh, the slope is not uh, zero rather it is uh, slowly changing due to finite uh, uh, due to the, the effect called base width modulation okay and then there is a finite output resistance for the bjt and uh, now our question is if the bias points gets changed due to the reason whatsoever it is you have for example this v b goes up for example then the voltage at the base goes up it means the vbe tends to increase increasing your ib from the exponential curve what we see here and the ib increases the ic which is flowing through this uh, register RC and the collector pin is beta times IB. There is a sudden rise in the collector current IC. And then there is this current, uh, let us call it IE, that is flowing through this, which is sum of IB plus IC. So obviously IE is also rising, giving a large uh, voltage, larger voltage drop across the register RE, which is, let's say, VE. So VE is going up. When VE goes up, voltage at the emitter essentially is going up. So you see the VB is trying to go up and V voltage at the emitter pin is also trying to catch up it, catch it up. So we want always to maintain this voltage drop about 0 0.7 volts. So if it increases, the base voltage increases by 0 0.1 volts. So this voltage at the emitter will also try to increase by 0 0.1 volt, maintaining the drop about 0 0.7. So when the voltage at the emitter pin goes up, you have obviously the base current will come down and the collector current will then come down and essentially then IE will also come down, making the voltage at the emitter pin uh, come down, right? So it's a kind of uh, negative feedback uh, through which you are maintaining the, providing a stability to the circuit, right? And the reverse thing happens again this VBE tries to goes down due to some fluctuations in the bias point due to temperature variation, something like that. It means uh, your base current is decreasing, collector current will go deep down, emitter current will go down, the voltage at the emitter pin will then try to come down, maintaining again the same voltage drop VBE and therefore stabilizing and maintaining maintaining a constant current and the constant voltages across the transistor. So this is the use of uh, negative feedback we see, negative feedback, okay, which is helping us to provide the stability, provide stability to your circuit. And this is how this is. So this is a classic example of CE amplifier, common emitter amplifier with the emitter resistance RE uh, used as emitter degeneration resistor. Degeneration resistor. This is how it works. And of course, the gain of this circuit that is V over V in the check the magnitude is approximately re over rc rc over re merely set by the register ratio and we see that uh, without the emitter your gain is about approximately gm times rc so it is still dependent on the gm of the which is transconductance of the bjt so if the 
transconductance varies, your gain is likely to vary. But in this case, with our E introduction in the circuit, your gain is purely set by the ratio of resistor. And therefore, it is independent of the intrinsic parameters of the BJT. And uh, so the gain is a bit reduced because the transconductance is uh, set by the DC value of the collector current divided by the thermal voltage, which is 25 millivolt at the room temperature. But then you can again adjust the values of the resistors to set the gain. 